Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you how to do some dynamic clothing, uh, masks, accessories to your characters in order to create some more uh, randomized looking characters. So uh, let me just jump right into it. Here's an example of uh, what I'm talking about so you know what we're going to do. And I'm going to try to make this quick and uh, painless. But I'm not going to go through all the minute details. If you have questions, let me know. All right, so here we go. I started off with creating some characters in Fuse. Um, that's a product that's going to be uh, retired here shortly. I think in September of 2020, Adobe is going to get rid of it. But basically what I did was I created um, uh, this character in Fuse. And then I went ahead and applied uh, an animation uh, blueprint to this character. So we have our animation blueprint. Let me pull this up. Um, I'm assuming you guys kind of know how to do that. And then I also, um, let's see, applied a uh, skeletal mesh to that. Oh, and the blend space. That's what I wanted to show you. So. The blend, the blend space basically controls uh, from an idle position where this guy's kind of looking around to a uh, you know full run. And for this character, that's all they're going to be doing is they're either going to be standing around looking scared or they're going to be running, and that's it. Um, so what I wanted to do though was rather than just having a single character or a single mesh, right? like just like this guy all by himself, I wanted to uh, be able to randomly choose between two different meshes. So I imported another mesh. So here's this guy, right? So we have this guy and we have this guy. So two different skeletal meshes. Then what I wanted to do was I wanted to dynamically apply a couple of different um, uh, accessories to the character. So here you see I have a mask um, and uh, so I wanted to be able to stick the mask on the person or I had uh, this gas mask here, right? So that is another mask. And again, these all came from Adobe Fuse I exported the models and then just saved off the individual mesh. Uh, I did that using Blender. Um, I also have a hat. So he's got like a, a surgeon's hat or a scrub mask, I call it, or a scrub hat. I got a set of glasses, got some safety glasses. That's pretty cool. And then a mask. All right, so here's our mask. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to take each one of these things and dynamically apply it to my character um, so that when they were instantiated in the world, I have a random set of characters that look different with two different skeletal meshes and then all these different accessories. So the way that I did that was um, here I have each of the skeletal meshes. So we had my this guy. And this guy each of those meshes are using the same skeleton and so if I pull up the skeleton that's the blend space the anime okay so yeah the one with the bones so if I look at the skeleton what I did was right down here on his head bone I created um, several additional sockets that I named breather, gas mask, scrub mask, scrub hat, and glasses, right? So each one of these sockets then I can attach something to. Um, and what I'm gonna attach is a static mesh actor and I'm gonna do that at runtime. So the way this works is I created these sockets, I positioned them where I wanted the socket with the rotation, um, and, and all of that. And then uh, when I instantiate the character, 
let's go look at my blueprint now. So this is the blueprint that is managing, dynamically creating these accessories. So what I'm doing is I have two variable arrays, uh, two arrays and, and an index number. So the first one is, a, is an array of socket names. And so here are all the socket names that I, I created on my skeleton, right? So these line up with the names that I created here on my skeleton, all right? The second thing is I created a list of meshes to coordinate with the socket names. So if I have uh, socket zero is scrub mask, then the mesh that I have is the scrub mask, okay? So I just align these up so that when I pick an index into the array, like if I pick index three for the breather mask, that the mesh corresponds to that as well, the breather mask, right? So I have the socket I'm gonna attach this mesh to. Then I created a function called setup. It looks a little complicated, but it's really not that bad. The first part is I clean up any accessory that I've uh, already created. And this is because in the demo, I'm, I'm spawning in new accessories every two seconds to show you guys that it's rotating. Um, out of my setup, I just use a sequence. And then here's the real magic of adding the accessory. You add a static mesh component. I'm gonna save that off to a variable. Then I'm gonna pick a random integer between zero and four. Then I'm going to set the static mesh equal to that index, right? So remember, I, I create an index between zero and four, and then I'm gonna index into my meshes array to find the mesh that corresponds. I'm gonna set that static mesh, and then I'm going to attach the, I'm gonna attach the mesh for the accessory that I created, my static mesh actor. I'm going to attach it to the socket that corresponds to the index, right? So, and then I use location, uh, rotation and scale, snap to target. So what this does is creates that static mesh, uh, sets the stat, creates the static mesh actor, sets the mesh and then attaches it to the socket. And then the last part is I create a random integer in range between zero and one. And depending on if it picks zero or one, I choose the different skeletal mesh, right? So I either pick this guy or I pick this guy, right? And then when you do that, oh, so how I call this, it's very simple in my begin play for the blueprint then. Um, I'm doing a, a couple extra things here and I'll explain this in one second. But the big thing is I just set a timer up and call setup every two seconds, right? So that's why in the example that I showed you, it's rotating what they're wearing and what the skeletal mesh is every two seconds. Um, this part right here delays the animation by a random amount so that they're all not synchronized. Um, to each other. So this way they look like they're moving independently and they're not choreographed where they're all standing together. I'll show you that real quick. So if I run this, let me switch, let me switch to the, uh, the thing. So if I run this now, so you see each of them, see how they kind of started at different times. That's that delay that I introduced at the begin play. And here you see that as the setup is occurring, it's changing the skeletal mesh. It's also changing the accessory that's attached to them. And that's it. That's it. That's the exciting thing for the day. I hope you enjoyed this. I tried to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions about how to do anything that I talked about, 
post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks everybody. Stay safe from the uh, COVID-19 and uh, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye-bye.